hi guys so I have coffee plans up here in Lule and I'm waiting so I figured I would do a vlog because some of you were asking about Jax's schooling so my son Jax is 10 years old and he came here when we were four when he was I'm four. Trish I'm a 53 year old Filipino American living in the Algarve Portugal and here's a glimpse into my life so we've been here almost six years and when we first got here, he's, uh, he's got a late December birthday. So what happened was everyone in his pre-K class in so, you know, Southern California, just about everyone was going to go to kindergarten. Because Jackson's birthday is in December, he wasn't eligible to start kindergarten. So he would have repeated the pre-K that he had just finished. So that being said, that was the perfect time for us to go abroad. It was sort of an adventure. It was a gift year, we thought, you know, whether he went to school or not, he'd be repeating pre-K, couldn't start kindergarten anyway. So that's precisely, you know, what how the timing started for us to come here to Portugal. Anyway, long story short, we got here and I was just we we arrived in Albufera and I was walking around the neighborhood and I had seen a sign for a Montessori school that literally just opened in September. So, you know, I, Jax was in a stroller. I was just, we didn't have a car at the time. I was strolling Jax around the neighborhood and I stopped by that Montessori, Montessori school, Eden Montessori. And that's how Jax's school started. about the school well so we arrived in October 2018 and and the school had literally just opened in September so when we arrived there we were like the first of seven families and a lot of the families that had arrived had just arrived here in the Algarve Portugal as well so we met a lot of our dear friends because they were expats from different from different countries and they were new to Portugal and so they were not only new to the school but new to Portugal so we were all kind of on the same boat uh, experiencing the Algarve you know navigating the school system and you know they're still they're still our dear friends actually so that's uh, honestly one of the reasons why we've stayed here for so long because of Eden Montessori because of our friends that we made there and anyway so that's sort of like a bonus for us so I was so happy that Jax left Southern California at his preschool there in Dane Point at San Juan Capistrano Nobis it's called Nobis I was like oh, it's a Nobel no it's Nobis fantastic school by the way and we came here and he had a Montessori education which I don't know if you know anything about the pedagogy of Montessori, but it essentially really encourages the child to, and encourages their individual passions. Really interesting way of learning, and I really, it was so good for Jax. I mean, it made him independent, a good thinker. So, you know, starting off in Montessori here was just an amazing experience for him. He was at Eden Montessori from four to seven. So a great school so I really thank Jackie and Russ who was his teacher and Javier actually they were really Jax um, had great teachers but I do want to put a shout out to Russ because it was during one of our parent teacher meetings that Russ he's like you need to get Jax into dance classes and Ryan and I had already we had noticed it at home like he's dancing all the time and he's always been dancing since a baby but Russ Russ was like he's dancing in class all the time you need to get him into proper dance classes so thank you Russ yeah you really encouraged Jax's passion so that's how that's how we started our you know our really serious dance trajectory for Jax. So at Eden Montessori, it was taught, it's an international school, so it was taught in English. The head of the school, the founder, is South African. Uh, 
Jackie, fantastic lady, but you know, during their playtime, they were being watched over by a Portuguese lady. So, you know, so Jack's kind of he learned a little bit of Portuguese. I mean, all his classes were taught in English, but he definitely was exposed to the Portuguese language and um, culture from you know four years old on. Then, when Jack's turned seven. I thought it was time for him to go to a more traditional school, and that's when we went to Novell International School in Lagoa, which also has was a fantastic school. It's an international school, so there's two sections. There's you know the international part, which is taught in English, and then there's the national section, the Portuguese section, which is taught in Portuguese. And because we're Americans, and we don't really we didn't really care about the British curriculum. I I had initially had we initially had put Jacks in the international section, but then when we ended up having a tour of the school, I changed my mind. I had an interview with the director, Francisco Claro, of the national section, and we switched him over to the national section. So Jacks had started Jacks started at Nobel International School in Lagoa in the national section. So everything, all his classes were taught in Portuguese except for English. And that's how Jax, honestly, he started in September. By December, he was he was pretty fluent. I mean, that's how Nobel was such an excellent school. I love that school and I'm, I'm actually kind of a little sad that we left, but I'll tell you why. And Jax is now going to a fantastic school. But yeah, so he was there from seven until um, until nine because he finished off the year, but he doesn't turn 10 until late December. So this year, January 2024, so in December 2023, we moved to Faro to be closer to, to Jax's dance studio. I mean, he loves dance. He's so good at it. He, I mean, that's that's what he wants to do. So of course, as Mama Bear, I'm following and helping him follow his passion. So, so we moved closer to his dance studio, and then we moved to school because now we're in Faro, and he's dancing so much. So we moved him. He's fluent because he, we put him in the Portuguese section at Nobel Lagoa. Uh, so we put him in the Portuguese public system and actually a very highly ranked public school. So the public schools in Faro are really highly ranked. And so I had no qualms about putting him um, in a top rated school and, and he's doing really well there. So. So that's how Jackson's schooling has been. So he started off at private school, Eden Montessori Learning, and then he was there for three years, and then he moved to Nobel, uh, an international school, but in the in the national section. So in all classes taught in Portuguese, and he was there for three years, and now he's in the Portuguese public school, uh, and all classes are in Portuguese. And almost everyone speaks in Portuguese, except they do they do teach English. So um, that's the one class that he does speak in English. Um, and that is Jax's schooling. And it's been so wonderful for us. It's worked out perfectly. And so, yeah, for those who are interested in coming to Portugal, who have young kids, elementary school kids, Jax's age, that was what we did. And it has worked perfectly for us. Jax has done so well. He's made so many friends, Portuguese and international. You know, as you can see, we've we uh, always had one foot in international section and one foot in the Portuguese section. So I think that's really helped. Um, that's really helped. Jacks, it's helped us. That's why we really love Portugal because it's been so wonderful for us. And Jax, is, you know, he's had an amazing educational experience here, and he's fluent. He's fluent. He's bilingual. So <laughs> anyway, that's fantastic. So yeah, that's the scoop. Let me know if you have any questions. But it's been wonderful for us, the education system for Jax at this level. Okay, so have a great day, guys, and I will talk to you soon.